Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Madeline and today I'm sharing some of my favorite products that I use before bedtime. Let's get right into it because there are a few faves here. Um, starting off with right after the shower, I use deodorant. So the one I've been loving right now is the Avon On Duty 24 Hours. This is an unscented roll-on deodorant. I find that I get really itchy, dry underarms if I use like the standard spray or stick deodorant. Um, roll-on is my favorite. This one's pretty good. It does leave white marks, so that's why I use it before bed. I usually shower before bed anyways or take a bath. The one that I actually prefer to this, I always forget the name, but it's this like Canadian brand that's really hard to find. I'll leave it across the screen here in the description box. This is a good alternative, and I find that I never have super stinky pits when I use this, and I definitely don't experience that dry itchiness with other products. So this is the first thing I put on. It also needs a few minutes to dry. And then after that, I put lotion on my feet. So this is the Flexitol Very Dry Skin Lotion. This is for very dry, itchy skin. Um, it hydrates cracked, itchy skin, 24-hour moisture lock with urea, dimethicone for exfoliation and moisturization. It is amazing, comes in a huge pump bottle. I love cream and pump bottle. You'll see a theme coming up. This is such a great product made in Australia. The Flexitol brand has quickly become one of my very faves. It has also become a favorite of a bunch of people in my network, in my friend group, who have actually purchased after seeing me talk about the brand because it is relatively new to the Canadian market. It is absolutely amazing. I watched Dr. Dre, D-R-A-Y, on YouTube, and she's a dermatologist, and she talked about using a cream with urea for your feet to help prevent any kind of um, like foot fungus and, and obviously to help with dryness and everything so this is fantastic I just use one pump pretty much for both feet I put a pair of socks on and then I go to bed and my feet are so soft and I'll leave a link to where you can find this in the description for my body I use something different this is the Jeju Ice aloe moisturizer from the face shop you can find this on avon i'll leave a link below i actually have a boutique on avon because i love their products so much i opened up a page um, for myself to shop and obviously for you to shop so if you'd like a discount let me know i can definitely hook you up since i am a representative there this is just such a great korean made body lotion it is so jelly smooth it smells really fresh it's a little bit citrusy but it goes on super smooth sinks in really fast i love this format because i can just kind of dip my fingers in it's not super sanitary but i go through one of these relatively quickly so this is great for all over the body the best way to do your moisturizer even on your feet whole body is when your skin is a little bit damp. Put it on, it smooths on a bit easier and sinks right in, really locking in that moisture. For the face, this is the Light Sauce Balancing Gel Moisturizer for oily combination skin. My friend Alana gave this to me. This is a great moisturizer. It has no fragrance, sulfates, parabens, phthalates, or mineral oil. You can use it day and night and it is just a very simple moisturizer for oily skin. Let's talk about beside the bed. So I leave the rest of my products beside my bed because there is a reason to my madness. So lips. This lip balm from Flextol is the best thing on planet earth. Visible results in one day for severely dry lips. It is so darn good. That was just the unscented but I have it in mint and berry flavor. I love the mint. Um, the original is fine, but these two are also really, really great if you like a flavor. These are made in Australia. They are absolutely outstanding. I love the squeeze tube, and it truly gives you results in one day. My lips have never looked and felt better. Another product I leave beside bed is the CND Solar Oil. So this is a nail oil. These nails are fake. I just put them on for Halloween, and boy, are they dramatic. But I'll just apply some of this oil right around my nail cuticles and it helps to moisturize right where you need it. The MVP right now is this Moisture Therapy Balance and Soothe Body Lotion. This is from Avon as well, made in Korea. This is so good. I love a pump lotion. You know what's cool? I can just press it like the smallest amount, just a touch will come out. I hate really gloopy lotion, so I'll just get like a really small pump. This lotion is nice and thin, but it packs a punch. Like if I use that all over my body, it's a little too heavy. That's why I love the Jeju Aloe one that's like light and fluffy almost, but this one really, really works. So I'll just grab like the smallest little bit, rub it on my nails, rub it on the back of my hands, go to bed. My hands don't feel disgusting, and I really do use that because it sinks in so fast. Sometimes with regular hand creams, I'm looking at the Caudalie one on my desk right now that I'm just like really trying to finish. 
I hate the feeling of oily hands. Even when I'm going to bed, like I just don't want them feeling all gloopy. So this is a game changer. Again, I love the bottle format. This will truly last me forever. I would recommend this if you have really dry skin, you could definitely use this like head to toe. It's a great fully unscented moisturizer that helps repair and protect your skin's microbiome, which is good, especially in the winter time. Last product I'm gonna mention is the Differin Gel. This is Adapalene Gel, 0.3%. If you can see the dryness on my chin right now, culprit. Um, but this is an amazing anti-aging, anti-acne prescription retinol treatment. It works so, so well. It does have a bit of a learning curve. I would recommend trying the Neutrogena Moisturizer first, which has retinol, their rapid wrinkle repair, and ease your skin into it with that product, using it two times a week, three times a week, four times a week, and then introduce something like this uh, prescription grade product, which You'll maybe only put on once a week for the first few weeks, twice, and perhaps up to three times a week. But a good rule of thumb with a retinoid is to apply it based on your age. So in your 20s, twice a week, 30s, three times a week, 40s, four, etc., etc. Um, and yeah, definitely don't use this before your 20s. You don't need it. I really like to apply it to dry skin. So I don't even always put on a moisturizer before this. I let my skin completely dry on my face after a bath or shower. And then I will apply this only to my chin, nose, forehead, and cheeks. I never put it too close to my nose because the welling of the product in your nose area causes irritation. And then of course around the mouth area, sometimes I get that irritation, but overall, as long as I keep it to forehead, nose, cheeks, chin, and not even a stitch close to my eyes, like I leave a very large buffer around my eyes, this works like a dream. I take a little bit down my jawline, but not fully down the neck because I don't need it on my neck. Um, this will truly reduce acne. It tones your skin, but it can take up to six months to see the results of a retinol treatment. So it really is something that you have to use for the long run. And on days where I'm not using this because I do not use this every single day, I'm nearing my 30s, so I use this um, two to three times a week max. Um, on the off days, I'll either just put a regular moisturizer or something with an acid, um, but never an acid and a retinol in the same day. I use like a BHA, AHA, you know, peeling, glow tonic type thing on the other days where I'm not using my retinol. So the retinol will help resurface the skin and the acid helps to take off the skin that has uh, been renewed thanks to the retinol. So I keep this beside my bed because I find that that's the best time. I'll look at it, I'll put it on, and then I'll just go to sleep, trying not to um, touch my face with my sheets or pillows that much. But overall, it's just such a great routine that's been working really well for me. I wanted to mention that I use this on my back and chest as well. Not as often, but if I am breaking out, I will use this all across my chest and back. This is not supposed to be a treatment product. It truly is supposed to be prevention, um, but I do find that I'll, I'll start using it more on my chest and back as well as that full routine of the AHA, BHA acid type thing. If I notice my skin is getting like a little bit textured and then over time it does clear up thanks to that full routine. Otherwise, I usually just use this Jeju Aloe Moisturizer on my chest and back as well. And since it's so lightweight, it doesn't cause any trouble. Since I do have acne prone sensitive skin, I do have to be kind of careful. I would never put this within a foot of my chest and back. <laughs> I would put it on my foot though. Okay, last product I did want to talk about actually is this pillow. I have my silk pillowcase on here. The pillow itself is very cool. I'll leave a link to it. This is a clavicle support pillow. It has this amazing dip in it, as you can see here. I sleep on this side and it cups my neck and head perfectly and does not smoosh my face. So if I sleep like this, all of my skincare for the most part stays off my pillow. And I really love this because traditional pillows I just find squish my face a lot. And when I started to use retinol, it did get too close to my eyes and I had a very, very bad reaction. So after finding a pillow like this, not only is it more comfortable for me, but it leaves my face completely smoosh free and it reduces wrinkles, you guys. Finding a pillow like this with the silk pillowcase, this is my beauty pillow must have. So I'll put a link below. This was a great little investment purchase. It is a foam pillow, and I would highly, highly recommend it to go along with your nighttime skincare. So thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Leave any comments or questions below. If I mention any of your favorites, I would love to hear about it. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you very soon. Bye.